Hello everyone, this is Tony. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Trophy Travel Experiences. Today I'm doing a review of a recent flight I had from Hong Kong to Singapore on Cathay Pacific. It's flight number 759 and the aircraft is an Airbus A350-900. Um, I was seated in um, a window seat, so it's uh, 17K. It had, I think, two windows and I noted that some other um, of these seats had only one window, so I thought this was a very good seat. This is a short video of the seat, and I'm going to compare it to my Air Canada experience because that's the most the plane that I ride with the most, or the airline that I do the most. Um, it is quite spacious, um, and I like that there's lots of spacing, um, and even um, the width is very good. Um, the only thing that is it is a little bit older and dated. It seemed like a little bit dated. Um, so, and the cleanliness wasn't, I think, as uh, good as um, some of other aircrafts I've seen. So, again, you can see the spaciousness of the insides. Um, this is kind of the kind of inside where they have the headphones, and there seems like a lot of space there with the mirror also. If you compare to my most recent flight on Air Canada, the business class product, I think it was the 777, um, which I'll have at the end of this video, um, you can see this room is much, much roomier. Um, the width for your legs is much roomier. It's got this even a lot of more storage space. So I did like that um, in this aircraft. This is the control panel for the seats and the TV. A little bit more dated, um, not as modern as uh, as compared to the flights I had on Air Canada. Short flight, only four hours, so no amenity bag. I thought that the service um, was okay with the staff. Um, and also, normally Cathay is known for its food, but I already had experience in the first class lounge prior to boarding, which I, I will put at the end of this video. And also it's a breakfast service, so it's kind of hard to be really that great for breakfast. Uh, I did choose the dim sun set, and you'll see that later on. This is the drink menu. I didn't actually see a wine list. Maybe it's because it's breakfast. I think they did serve some white wine, some champagne, if you wanted it. But of note, when you s uh, travel on Cathay, is the Hong Kong style milk tea. So I took a cup of that. This is the first part of the breakfast, which everyone gets. It's a croissant and some fruits. And I do like, as compared to Air Canada, that Cafe kind of serves this and then um, lets you eat that and then brings on the entree later. It gives you a little bit more time and um, gives to eat and to enjoy it. So I do like that part as compared to Air Canada, which just puts it all in one tray. So here I am with a Hong Kong style milk tea, and then the dump, the dim sum set, which is a ha gao, um, a pork siu mai, a vegetarian a mushroom dumpling, and then a um, glutinous rice um, and chicken. Um, a little bland, quite frankly. So I poured a ton of the chili sauce on it, so that made it a little bit more edible. Um, it was okay, um, but um, still. I think better than Air Canada food, but um, not top quality for, you know, it wasn't delicious, it was okay. Here we are approaching Singapore. All in all, a good flight. I will mention that their um, kind of uh, demand or film system wasn't that great. I thought it was kind of confusing how they um, operated it and how they categorized it. Didn't seem like the movies were as good as uh, Air Canada. Um, it was a good, okay flight. I think the it's spacious. The seat was very spacious, but it was an old aircraft. So um, I would say it's a, a decent flight. Uh, food was okay. Um, I might have been spoiled because of my first class lounge experience prior to the flight. So um, all in all, a decent flight, uh, but I'm not completely raving about it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, safe travels.